Boots on the ground. Let's explore, shall we? Boots on the ground is an expression, a phrase. The expression, boots on the ground, and this is from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. The expression, boots on the ground, has an extended military jargon history. It certainly dates back at least to British officer Robert Granger Kerr Thompson, strategist of the British counterinsurgency efforts against the Malayan National Liberation Army during the Malayan Emergency in 1948 to 1960. The term is also associated with General William Westmoreland and the United States intervention in Vietnam, particularly the large force increase from 1965 to 1968. The term is used to convey the belief that military success can only be achieved through the direct physical presence of troops in a conflict area. As terminology, it was going to concisely express a counter view against the position that other means, such as aerial bombardment, as used both by Germany and the Allies in World War II, and massively by the United States in Vietnam. Economic incentives or satellite intelligence could achieve victory. The term is particularly applied currently to counterinsurgency operations. There's a book titled Boots on the Ground. It's an account of the war in Iraq with the 2nd Brigade of the 82nd Airborne as it convoys con Convoys north from Kuwait to Iraq to Lille Air Base en route to night and day battles in the major city of Samoa and its bridges across the Euphrates. Zinmeister is a frontline reporter embedded with the 82nd Airborne. He seeks to convey the detailed planning and technical execution that makes up today's warfare. The book brings to life local firefights and the constant air-ground interactions that are one of the key innovations of modern precision combat. Where do you see specialists in any of that? Do you think they use COD points or crypto keys to get any of that? And how different are the guns going from World War One to World War II? Let's see what happened in, what was this, 19, 1948 to 1960 was the Malayan emergency. And then 1965 to 68, this is uh, intervention in Vietnam with large force. So boots on the ground. There's a lot of guys dumping on the soil, going to war. Boots on the ground. That's Call of Duty. That's Roots. Each Call of Duty, every Call of Duty title has had boots on the ground. We're mistaking terms when we say boots on the ground. And a lot of that is because of the younger audience that makes up a giant portion of this community now. They're misinterpreting what is, and that's okay. But it is what it is. And for us who know what it is, it's very frustrating to have, I don't want to say ignorant, but uninformed people giving opinions and ultimately making a franchise do something possibly it doesn't want to do. I blame Activision for so much, but is the community really to blame? We we looked at the history in a prior video of, of Advanced Warfare. They, were, they wanted a Vietnam game back in 2000 and nine right 2009 mw2 came out um 13 was ghost that was when they started three-year development cycle so we knew way back when they wanted and they had to stop to help on mw3 so does that mean it's actually the community's fault that we have all this and we have no one to blame and the fact that we're all arguing and upset over something we've done and we're taking out on them it actually sounds unjust and i feel like a giant hypocrite right now so stop making me feel like a hypocrite this is a multi-billion dollar company they claim transparency but i've yet to see it however i do play with a bunch of you special operators out there so you're making me feel worse about how i actually feel inside thank you boots on the ground it's animations it's lag comp it's bad internet signal. It's compromised data. It's an old Quake, what it, Quake 3 Arena engine. Advanced Warfare had a new engine built into it. Yes, we, we understand Michael Condry did that. Go feel it's more of, I pick things up. We know they got that it, they had a new engine. They had awesome graphics. It was like Michael, not Michael Bay. What did I say? Um, I don't know that guy's name. I'm sure everybody else knows. Hopefully somebody screaming it. But, uh, we know that the, the fish AI were amazing. I get it. The problem, I think, is the randomness. I know that's a, that's a loose term. Here I am talking about boots on the ground. Randomness. I might, I mean, that's not even a word. What is? I made it up. Probably didn't, but I've heard it. Might have made it up. Randomness. The guy sitting in the corner. The guy using Wi-Fi, stealing McDonald's internet to play. The guys using their hotspot while they stream music to play. Those are random. Those are who we randomly meet when we link up. Bad code. We know every update changes things. Every time they add new information and new computer language into their program, 
time, it messes with stuff. Like there's already enough randomness. The one shot kills, the shot around the corners, that used to be current griping material. They tried to get away from that, I believe, with the jetpack and also because of Titan Fallen and it coming into play as a competitor in the FPS arena. But I believe that the animations could have, they, I believe that if they tweak the animations of jumping so that maybe he opens his legs differently, maybe different, different air when he jumps, when he jumps forward, he ha make it so he has different jumping animations around corners, up and down, sideways. So when you make it dynamic that way, you don't have to add jetpacks to make him shoot across bringing sky like firework to make it dynamic. You can change just the personalization we have the technology they have the money they have the resources we have the voice stop speaking with your wallet do not buy cop one don't do it boots on the ground is in every single game you like boots on the ground play call of duty stop complaining don't go to battlefield oh yeah i'm coming for you you'll never watch this i'm coming till next time y'all be safe